What is going on, YouTube? Reverse John Stanek from Johnny Radio here, bringing you another hot track, a brand new song that you've got to hear right away, and that is the End Times Blues by Taylor Alexander. Taylor, such an amazing talent originally from Georgia, now doing his thing out in Nashville, and with two fantastic albums already under his belt. I'm hoping this is signifying that possibly a third album is underway. Uh, I don't know, this could just be a one-off, especially since uh, four track recording is like in the title of this song and for just a four track recording it sounds so good it sounds like he double tracked the vocal probably double tracked the acoustic as well and it's got kind of like an Elliot Smith vibe uh, which is I mean awesome if, if that's what he was going for uh, and it's it's obviously not a blues track it's more along the lines of folk. Um, you know, Taylor often rides the line between Americana and kind of alt country and, and just all singer songwriter acoustic goodness. But this song right here, uh, it also has kind of like a Nick Drake vibe to it the way he's playing the acoustic, the little licks in between the verses, which kind of really, you know, separates the men from the boys on that kind of singer-songwriter thing. And uh, yeah, he's, he's just so good. And especially on the, the lyrical content, uh, you know, it's just, he's talking about the end of the world, but it's in such a way where it doesn't feel morbid. It's uh, it, it doesn't feel upbeat either. But it's, it, you know, it's just kind of like universal. And I really love the line at the end of the first verse where he says, I'm just hoping for the best and waiting for the world to end. Uh, that line to me is just brilliant and uh, it just gets better from there. But, you know, it's like, as I said, it, it's universal, especially when uh, on the second verse, he's speaking to his generation and whether he's talking about his generation or mine or even older than that, I think we can all you know, realize that the world, uh, whether it's our world uh, physically, uh, when we're going to die eventually, or the world itself, uh, I mean, he's just capturing a moment in time here that I think we can all relate to this feeling of uh, just this kind of anxiety that we all feel these days, whether it's, you know, uh, on the, the grand scale of things of, uh, you know, environmental or nuclear or the, all those big things, or just, as I said, like your own little world, knowing that you only have so much time left. And uh, by the time you get to the third verse, where he's talking about staring into oblivion and not wanting to flinch. Man, it's just, uh, it, it's a gut punch. And, you know, Taylor Alexander has always, from, from the first time I ever saw him play, back in the day when he was with a band called Young America, which, uh, you know, he could rock out with them, or, uh, you know, he's proven himself uh, vocally as well on The Voice, of course. But as a singer-songwriter, uh, he's just always, from day one, uh, you know, he, he has that ability to talk about these profound things and make them feel like, yes, uh, that's, you know, in a language that we can all understand. And uh, I'll never forget, I, I think it was like 10 years ago now, I saw him perform at a house show where it was just him and an acoustic sitting on the floor and doing his thing and it was just i was transfixed and just hanging on every word and this song reminds me of that i hope that there's more like this to come from taylor because um you know as, as talented as he is i mean he can rock out he can do anything but this i think is really his sweet spot and um so I hope that there's more four track recordings coming. Hope maybe this is leading up to a full album release and hey, maybe even different versions of this song. Whatever the case, I'm in for more of Taylor Alexander. I give this a very strong eight out of 10 and highly recommend it. If you haven't listened to it yet, please let me know in the comments below once you do what you think of it and be sure to check out his other uh, material because it's just fan Fantastic. So thank you guys so much for watching. I got album reviews, top fives every Friday, so much more. Thank you. And as always, Viva La Vinyl. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and be sure to ring the bell for notifications so you can always see great quality content like you're seeing on the screen right now. Thank you so much for supporting Johnny Radio, and I'll see you soon.